Hey, Phil! Phil, can you do my intro for me? For my shameless merch plug. All right, y'all, we got no Phil here today, but you got me, so we're gonna do a shameless merch plug, and we got a giveaway going on right now. You can get this badass Nitrous Fed LS Swap Holly Controlled New Edge Mustang. All you guys have to do to get entered to win is go to the first link in the description below. That's lsnasty.com, where you can pick up some killer merch. This is one of my old shirts. It's a bad apple shirt. We do have some small block forward nasty shirts coming out very soon, but all you guys have to do to get entered to win this thing is head down to that first link in the description below, lsnasty.com, and shop around, get some merch. Every item you purchase is an entry to win this thing comes with two 10 pound nitrous bottles 300 shot th 400 it's on a holly terminator it's absolutely badass this has been my no prep hot rod for the past couple months and it's going to be one of yours so don't miss out on the opportunity you can't win it if you don't get entered go down there we got a bunch of new shirts we got some new hats coming out uh, we got stickers we got flags we got key tags we got it all i'm not going to say the saying i say because I don't have fries that'll cross your eyes on the website right now, but I will very soon. Uh, all you guys have to do to go and get entered is head down to ellisnash.com and shop around. Enjoy today's video. We got uh, two bangers today and tomorrow. Full drama. You guys will love it. Let's go ahead and head up. I'm a fucking die in this bitch. Let's go ahead and head up. We got everything in there? Yeah. All right. So we are out here at Showtime Dragway out in Florida. We actually pulled up while they were doing the driver's meeting, so I ran over and grabbed two tech cards really quick, and we threw the car together in about five minutes, and we're heading to the lanes right now. We have literally been nonstop since we got here. We got here about 6.15. It's about 6.30 now, we're in the lanes. I had a V-band bus. So we ended up, we brought both cars out. We were skeptical because they said the track's a little short, but there's a lot of uh, fast cars out here. So we have that right here running as the second pair against a Mustang. And we got the Grand National back here. We're not sure who he's got yet. Look, look who it is. Make a guest appearance. Damn. Them cameos. <laughs> so we're getting all lined up. There's a lot of uh, familiar cars out here, familiar faces. But we're going to see what we can make happen. Who's Thomas? He's uh, just he's coming up now. Yeah, well, I mean that's more just I just. Dude, I'm giving no everybody the run. No bullhorns, we're in trouble. Right. Hey, hey, can you make an announcement for the four inch E band? Four inch V band. What do you mean? I've been telling everybody we've been running around like crazy. I give everybody the uh, short rundown. This is what I'm worried about. The lack of bullhorns is going to suck. I said we could have done it like the no prep guys and just run no front end, but we need that weight up there. We put literally just the most shit show tune up in it ever. Well, what's the tune up uh, looking like? Is it, oh, it is pretty conservative or what? It's retarded. It's like no boost, two second ramp. Just to try and get down Just A to B. We got Katie Stupis, one of our good friends. There she is in the in the black. Uh, oh, yeah, there, there she is. So hopefully, hopefully oh, she'll take it easy on the first round. Um, but we had no intentions of racing today. So we're racing now. This was a uh, quick turn of events. We showed up I, at we showed up at six. I thought we got the whole car like out, both cars out and ready in like 15 minutes. Literally unloaded two trailers and both in the lanes in 15 minutes. This is ridiculous. I will say this is a new record for us though. Pulled in the gate in the staging lanes, maybe 10, 12 minutes. Literally. You ain't even lying. Literally. Oh my god. Orange. Yeah. I was thinking we could take that smaller one and cut it off. 
Oh, and I might, we might be able to just take the uh, not even weld. We might be able to. Just, the, I broke the, the, the threads on it, bro. The, the T bolt. So you I don't have, have another V bend. You just pop those in and out. I have one that's. It's good. the one that's welded in. I have one that's taking back the trailer and showing what you got. We'll, we'll, well, we'll see after. after. We were just kind of like rushing to get the lanes. We'll we're see. An understatement of rushing. James only got that big did your, mat, did your map quest print fucking take you to the wrong dude, place, dude? Where are you at? Four and a half hours to get from Orlando. Dude, I'm a safe driver. Well, right? You stopped at what? Disney Where'd World? Where'd you stop at? Universal World? We, 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 we took the scenic route. Took, took the roller coaster around. At, There's no bunkies on we, the way. We, I saw doing this morning. I said, hey, call me to get on this side of town. I thinking called, we get lunch or I something. We actually just got off the bridge out there. You know the real long one? Listen, it was 4.30. I called him. I said, where are you at? Because I want to stop by the gas station. Where's big country? I got a bone to pick. Hey, it was, put, it, put the picture on the screen. I'm editing. I'm telling myself, put the picture on the screen. Yeah. It no, was for real, that dude. That shit did make me laugh. When I talked to you at 9 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> I saying, talked to him at 4.30. He said, we're almost there. An hour out. Hey, when you get on this side of town, you, you holler at me thinking we'd get lunch Was I-4 traffic bad? We didn't leave until like 4. What is your problem? Oh, you I looked at the worst well, possible time. What, what happened was... We got like we were like an hour and a half out, and I'm like, John, how much how much we got left? Hell no, you ain't put me on there fucking chills. Hey, he's got you. Hey, you I come, love you and all, but I ain't doing that. You coming in this little, you coming in this so little track with the biggest rig, oh, and you're on my ass on the internet. Three hundred foot parked out when you still gotta push it to the yeah, lanes. I told him it's a pro. I don't even know why it's got two shoots. Don't even go fast enough for two shoots. It's a pro mod, dude. Pro mod. Spell shoot. C H U T E. He's on it today. He's on it today. He's on it today. Hey, get your boy. Help me out. Yeah. Hey, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Look at the camera. This is a new profile picture. Look at the pro mod shit right here. Hey, y'all know where your fucking legs are fat. No, I. He's short, dude. He's got to roll them things in. Hey, you gotta, you gotta take him to dinner before you get any further. It's better than mine. My race suit is just short. I was gonna say, hey, Justin. So that's how you buy your boots. I put my race suit on and it stops here. Yeah, I get it long so I can roll it up. You can't get shorter. Yeah. What you think? Just know, man, be careful out here. No bullshit. Now. No, 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 no. It's going to be a whole different deal for you. I mean, I we, we're just on a good track, too, but you get fucked up on this track bad. Is it the bump that you're worried about or the shutdown that you're worried about? It's the prep. It's, it's everything. But I'm just telling you. But you don't think if it sticks, like I got like a two second ramp in this thing. You just, I mean, but it's gonna try and roll power out there. Just be careful, man. It's it's everything together. As long as you're up on edge and ready, just dump the chute if you have to. All right. Hey, you got a uh, Chris knows to use the chute. Okay, I got to slow down, but he's just gonna drive with his hand on the chute. If it gets ugly, he's gonna. Hey, let Chris know about the chute. Go through it. I didn't go red. No, 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 no,
The bottom bolt never dropped. The, the bottom bolt never. That's going to hand the win to Kurt Cole in that Ford the Mustang. The bottom bolt never dropped. No, the bottom bolt never dropped. The bottom bolt never dropped. That should be a rerun. Talk to Bill here, whatever. I got nothing to do with it. Okay, all right, just hold okay. on to it. We'll go find yeah. on the bed. Well, I appreciate it. Now, it, it flickered the top ball, but he never went out the bottom. It like deep stage. Second, second stage. Okay, hey, Cole. Okay, okay. okay. See how it's red? He's still, it's red and he's still, he's still in there. He's still deep, just deep stage. All right, that's all. We'll get, get find Jeff Miller and we'll get over with Jeff. Let him make the final call. Right. Thank you, sir. Yep, no problem, guys. My, my thing is, they didn't say in the, in the driver's meeting you can't go deep. No, he did. But if like, you're on auto start, that's a big chance you're going to take, though. But, if it's the slightest little movement. Nine times right. out of ten, auto start won't red light you on that. I mean, you can, SGMP lights out. Uh, you you know who Jeff is, right? No, we've yeah, never been here before. Uh, Ball headed guy. Uh, what did you work at Bradenton? Uh, where? I can point us to him. Thank you. What? Why do we always get messed up on the tree, bro? What the world? They didn't say you can't deep stage. Well, the bottom bulb never even flickered, you know? Well, it's the deep stage, that top bulb going out. I don't know why it would go red, but he never, that, that shouldn't have happened. But, and then stayed, and then settled back no, in it, the beach. I got it on video, he and deep. he never, he never left the full stage bulb. The full stage bulb never went out. I thought I had a pretty valid argument there. There's no way he could have rocked out of full stage. You can see the look on this dude's face when he realizes, damn, he's probably right. They have a pretty valid argument and I'm gonna blame it on a light bulb. So here we go, the light bulb excuse coming in three, two, one, get it. The full, the bottom bulb. The bottom Never bulb. went out. Okay, well, that's my argument. Okay, well, the, here's, here's my argument. Those are filling the bulbs, okay? It, it can flicker so fast that that bulb might not shut off. Yeah. The timing system know, doesn't lie. The timing system doesn't I, no, lie, bro. I, I understand that, but what I'm saying. The timing system don't lie. I know, I understand that, but what I'm so saying So he could have broke the beam and the, and the light would have never went out. Did he, you hear what I just said? Yeah. He could have broke the beam and the light might not have went out. He's really sticking to the light bulb argument, but he's not even understanding his argument doesn't make sense. There's no way that car would have rocked eight inches out of full stage if it's flickering pre-stage. There's no way it is not possible. It's a 26 inch tall front tire. It doesn't have that much rollout. Not going to happen. But hey, he's sticking to his guns. Give it to him. It's probably like a one out of 10 on an argument's sake scale, but he's riding with it and he's sticking to his guns. I understand that, but okay. well, he, let's, let's... He, he, he flickered. What he, the ball that he the flickered. Top, when he the shut top. off. Yeah, it, no, no, it flickered it. Yeah, and that's it, when it went red. So it didn't go that deep. The top, one, the top one went completely up. But all I'm saying is, is look at the ticket because the ticket don't lie. Contradiction number three coming up right now. He says look at the ticket and they're not even handing out tickets. He is ultimately mind fucking himself right now. You guys are about to see uh, a typical move here. It's called the retreat. He's going to zip away on the scooter and he's going to say I'm tired of dealing with them because he is out of excuses. He's literally run himself dry. Yeah, I understand okay. that. But what I'm saying is... That, it well, that's, that's, uh, that's the end of it. Hey, Dana, would you hey, want you to explain it to him? Mickey Mouse Clubhouse track here anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. It's okay. bullshit well, that you're red lighting this. What's that? It's bullshit. It never left the bottom beams. Time systems do lie because if it left the bottom beams, the lights wouldn't turn off. Okay. Oh, where's the ticket? Where's the ticket, Chris? Well, I didn't, I didn't get a ticket. But, but hey, Dana, I don't even care anyways because that's what we do. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so now we're stuck with Dano, his lackey, a uh, little bit. Uh, less informed on what's going on, but still really, really, really sticking to the light bulb argument. I don't even know if these people have light bulbs in their house or not. I understand how they work uh, or how a timing system works, but uh, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty shitty there. What really doesn't help their argument is the pass after us. There was a timing system issue and they had to rerun. So the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse rules are in effect at this track. So That's listen, listen, I'm not going to argue with you, but just for the sake of argument. We're to the point now where we're not going to argue, but for the sake of arguing, we're going to argue. <laughs> I'm dying just watching this because it's ridiculous. This makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> that is a filament bulb. That bulb, the beam can break and turn back on faster than you can see that bulb. Okay, but here's the thing. It never but, but my, I didn't leave, I didn't it leave until the red light. I saw the red light. Yeah. If you're both staged... Sort of throws the switch, it's automatic. My thing he has is nothing to do with it. it. He didn't stage deep enough because the, the other one come back on, so it's not like it went super far out there, you know? That's my thing. Is the other light come back on, the pre-stage light. Hey, we're gonna go out there and kick some ass with this car. Huh? So we're gonna go out there and kick some ass. Push me up behind them. Hey. Let's push it. 
Fucking rock and roll. Yeah, he just hollered at us basically and told us it didn't count. Yeah, and literally didn't even give a good argument. And, and then told me that go get your tickets. I went to go get tickets. They're like we're not getting tickets tonight. I was like, okay, it's all right. Um, it's thank okay. you for your help. You, you're, 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 no, no, you're good. You're good. Oh you, hey. uh, yeah, you're, you're the best one out here. <laughs> thank you, guys. Well, you need some DDD medicine today, huh? Yeah. Man, get me out of this country ass town! Die in this fucking country ass fucked up town! And let's get the fuck out of this country, motherfucker! <laughs> you like Gilligan with that hat on right now? Oh, it's rough out here, 250 foot. Oh, I stopped fine. Those suckers hit. Those suckers hit. Is your neck okay? My neck's good because we aren't going that fast, but. V1? V1 of Bryce's V-band clamp, the new zip tie V-band clamp, works pretty good. Had a little tilt to her, but <laughs> V1's pretty good. You guys can find that uh, zip tie V-band clamp at lsnasty.com, where you can also win a car. Uh, yeah. um, all right, Sorry. track is ass. Here, Logan's rant. Oh, did Logan go off? Was it good? All right, hell you yeah. You ain't gonna put it in the video. Yeah, you ain't gonna put it in. All right, I won't put it in. You guys, maybe on the LS Nasty channel, oh, you can check it out. Don't, you don't can be, check it on the LS Nasty channel, all right? If you put right? that clip in, it will be like Morse code. He's just beeping the whole time. All right. Oh, no time slip. Just put some subtitles on. Did it yeah, ever? Out, did it get loose up top? Or? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Did you hear me pedal it? Yeah. Pedal it through the chute and hammer it. And I, like, once I hammered it, I like SpongeBob big toed it. <laughs> yeah. How was the, uh, did she get out on me and eat? Katie? You got your head off. Katie cut my head off, yeah. but yeah. I ran. Yeah. High gear, high gear fade, Katie. High gear fade. No, hey, I'm just turbo, <laughs> turbo life, turbo life. <laughs> oh. I got it. I got it. I got it. I know. You have to wiggle it. This yeah. One's for only full time LS Nasty employees. I know the trick now. You just gotta know the trick. I mean, we have we have to do that first. Yeah, no, I mean, that's well, I think it's, you guys need to let it run first. Then. Yeah, they can do it out first. You guys do it out first. What's going on? More nonsense where they had a tree didn't drop and they're like rerun chases a race. It's like JJ the boss is here. Let's hang on the street though. They're going to have to run it back out. They run it Hey, y'all said the driver's going to do that. We're getting time slips and they said they're no time slips. Even trials said the same thing. Yeah, I don't know.
yeah, what happened there. Well, we, the other car we got, the, the tree went red because the top bulb went out and he didn't even leave full stage. And, and Jeff, or whatever the hell his name is, like, the tree doesn't lie, but. I, yeah, we, we just actually, the time slips, I don't know why that was supposed to happen. Well, no one said in the driver's seat, you can't deep stage. Right. So, but, so we're just, I mean, we're just. Because, I mean, that's not, that's not really any different than what happened on the other so, one. I mean, the tree just didn't drop for that one. And that of it, I'm not going to make the call on that, of course. Well, who's running the race, there, actually? Who's the other guy? Todd. Well, someone. I, I run over Todd will actually be the guy that's running the race. Well, not, but not if you, he's sitting in if full he stage. If he in and then bumped back out no, no, and bumped in. No, no, just flickered way, the bulb. The top bulb flickered. He never, he, it's like he flickered deep. They got to run it back with their deal, so they need to go get it yeah, I was about to say, because then we're going to have to fucking sit here and yeah, they need to go yeah. figure let it out them go run real well, quick. If y'all, y'all, that second pair that went down, the tree went red and he wasn't out of the beam. Like... Oh, I'm out of things run for 10 grand. I mean, get your chip together. Which which one was that? There's the second pair down was the vet. Oh, that was this one in that black Corvette? Yeah. yeah. This one in the black Corvette? Yeah. And he was sitting, it, it flickered deep and yeah. the tree just went red. It won't like he jumped or anything. No, and, and he's saying, oh, he rolled through. He didn't roll through seven inches. It flickered there. deep. They say he rolled through. Well, he, he didn't. I mean, he flickered deep. Yeah, yeah that's, that's not. That's what we're saying. We got to go by what the, the guy running the tree is saying. Talk to Mills here or whatever. I got nothing to do with it. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's just the way it is, man. I get it. Then y'all should be running a $10,000 race here if that's how you're doing Well, this $10,000 race is for my father. That's what it is. I'm not taking anything away from that. I'm saying if they, if they can't get it figured out, like saying, well, he went red when he didn't go red and the tree's not dropping, like... If they say it went red, it went red. That's the starter. Yeah. No, he didn't. He said, talk to Jeff, and Jeff's like, well, it's a filament ball. I mean, I mean, I understand it's work. there's money on the line. Yeah, but... no, I, I get that. And I'm not taking anything away from what the race is for. I'm just saying, whoever's running the race, he be prepared. I just want to end this video real quick. Part two is absolutely insane. So you guys definitely want to check out tomorrow's video. Uh, but you guys saw there, went up, uh, kind of in, like the driver's meeting where they're trying to get everything together for round two. As you guys can tell, this whole like race is just, it's a mess. It's its pretty rough. Uh, it's not really organized. It's very tough when no one will make a call. No one was making a call. They're rerunning some races, not rerunning others. And it was just tough. Uh, I said there, you know, if you're running for 10 grand, you probably should get your shit together. And didn't mean that to be insulting, uh, especially I'm not taking anything away for what the race was for. Uh, it was a tribute race. And uh, I mean, I we were there supporting. I thought it was, it was great. It was cool. Um, but I later went up, I think Cole was his name, the, the guy that was put on the race, and I apologized to him. I said, hey, man, I don't want you to get the wrong impression. We're out here supporting. We're not taking anything away from what the race is for. If the race is a tribute race. You know, we're there supporting. We're not, uh, we're not trying to take anything away from that. Now, as far as how the race was run, that's a whole other story because no one would call any shots. But, you know, forget that. Throw that all out the window. After the race was over, the next day they made a Facebook post talking shit on us, saying that we showed up there with a $2 million operation, and, and we got out first round because we didn't know how to stage and all that. It was just complete nonsense so uh it, it just goes to show you that uh, you try to do the stand-up thing i went up, went out of my way went up to him to apologize because i didn't mean to insult the man at all and and it doesn't matter they'll, they'll as soon as they turn your back they'll talk shit on you so um that's how it is so that's gonna be the end of today's video be sure to check out tomorrow's it's full of drama you guys will love it <laughs>